What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Bernard, the executioner, the alien, the professor, Hopkins. Hopkins was recently on Seconds Out with Radio Raheem. Shouts out to him. <clears throat> and Radio Raheem was excited and was asking him about the heavyweight fights that are coming up and the stars that we have emerging. And he was quickly interrupted by Bernard Hopkins stating that, no, there's only one superstar, or should I say one star, in boxing. And his name is Anthony Joshua. And of course, Radio Rahim, please explain. You know, um, Bernard Hopkins stated that there's no one like Joshua in the heavyweight division that has this, you know, um, the salesmanship, the confidence, the desire to flat out fight, you know, on top of the belts. But, and he wasn't really even sure about the belts. He was just saying that clearly off, which Joshua has three out of four of the belts of, you know, the major sanctioning bodies. And he thinks that Joshua is the person to beat. He says that Deontay Wilder, he has no no disrespect towards him. Deontay has a lot of respect for him, likewise. Um, but he's more like a half star. And he didn't mention Fury by name. I just assumed that's who he was talking about by default. That Tyson Fury is a half star compared to someone like Anthony Joshua. Okay. Um let me counterpunch this and I have to agree on some points with Bernard Hopkins. I do believe Anthony Joshua is the heavyweight to beat. I believe the reason why these guys are turning down offers to Anthony Joshua because they don't want what their marketability or what they've done in the sport to be diminished but in one fight because that could happen in one fight because once those fights are fought they're fought there has to be a winner especially fighting someone like tyson i mean like uh, anthony joshua because he's coming to outbox you he's coming to hurt you he's coming to knock you out and you're gonna have to fight him whereas if deontay wilder lost Ask yourself this question. If a Deontay Wilder lost or Tyson Fury, sure, it would be an upset in the weight division, but overall, how big would it be compared to somebody beating Joshua? You know what I'm saying? Joshua holds more pressure than someone like Fury or someone like Wilder. I look at it like ranking systems. I see Joshua ahead, Tyson Fury number two, and Deontay Wilder number three. Simply because of marketability. Um, Joshua has more endorsements. He does more. He means more to the sport. Um, I feel that more people understand and respect him as the overall universal heavyweight champion versus Deontay Wilder is the champion in America. And he's let it slip out of his mouth a couple times and then the people who were interviewing him had to no 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 man you're champion of the world they had to correct him on his own wording but a lot of times a person will say the truth when by accident because the truth is one of those things that really wants to come out anyway just for the fact of the greater good let's face it you can say you know it's nothing like telling someone the truth especially if you've been lying to them or you've been lying to yourself. You know, you say the truth, it comes out, it sways easy. And that swayed easy. And then I'll do a video about that too on some points that I heard um, fighters say. But back to this discussion. Anthony Joshua, if he took a loss, it would be more catastrophic for the heavyweight division. Because then those belts would, would, would change hands to whoever beat him. Okay. Um, 
Now, as far as half stars, I wouldn't necessarily call them half stars because I think Tyson Fury with his deal um, has made him, that's his claim to fame, so to speak. You fought with Fury, I mean with Wilder and his struggle and his journey to get back to where he is now, his transformation physically, mentally, spiritually, has convinced a network to back him by giving him $103 million, 80 million pounds. So, you know, I think for that, by his own right, without a belt, um, put him in the position to be a star. Deontay Wilder, we don't know what he's really done successfully now, as far as raising his profile, sure, people know who he is, but without Anthony Joshua, would they really know who he really is? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, and financially, what has he done? He had a pay-per-view with Fury. It supposedly did 325. That's not terrible, but it's not great. So, there's no... You know, it, it wasn't like Joshua that made 1.5, 1.6 million homes like the Prevectin fight. 1.5 million pay-per-view buys. I don't care about the price. It's about the, the amount of people that bought it, right? Okay, well, um, there was no change there. He's fighting back on Showtime. He was offered a deal that could have allowed him to be that superstar, but obviously, I don't think he was ready to make that leap of faith, honestly. So he went back home. And there is nothing really that he's doing that sticks out. Even when he's not fighting, he's doing interviews. But he's talking about now, it's not about the belts. And I think I'm a star just for proclaiming that I am. Or should I say a superstar? I'm the most talked about heavyweight. But he, he, Deontay needs to understand that he's the talked about heavyweight in not a good light. Not a famous way, more like an infamous way. You know, the only fighter that turned down $100 million to fight another fighter. No fighter's ever done that in history. And if everyone that is, that does ride for Wilder, this trumps what you think or you thought about Anthony Joshua turning down 50, right? Now, the difference between that $50 million con or situation with Wilder to, fear to Joshua, there was no contract involved. That was just hearsay versus Deontay had a $100 million contract in front of him to sign that day. He didn't sign it. For whatever reasons okay so you had the real deal which is twice as much versus a 50 million dollar deal which is rumored to be real you know so um but back to bernard hopkins he's putting his money and his gut on joshua just because he sees the true reality and the true characteristics of a superstar and that's what joshua is the in the endorsements the appearance the personality the reputation that's what bernard hopkins was referring to but to call them half stars tyson fury and deontay wilder is a bit harsh to me but you know i think joshua's a superstar but i think Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder are just known people that are coming into stardom, starting with Fury, then second Deontay Wilder in their own unique ways. But anyway, this is me wrapping it up. I'll leave the link below, let you guys check out the interview with Seconds Out with Radio Raheem and Bernard Hopkins. You guys, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.